Welcome back, guys. My name is Abu Aziz, and you are on to the Abu Aziz podcast. Like I always, they talk steady. Everybody, where they take them time to the watch my episodes on YouTube. The people where don't subscribe, and the people where they about to subscribe right now. The people where they share, the people where they retweet, where they repost. I really appreciate everything we wanna they do because if no be on this particular platform. For no day, now na they ginger me, now na they encourage me, and for some of my guys, we don't already take them time, come this particular podcast. I really want to use this opportunity to tell on a thank you, big thank you. Now we don't already get um, one of the biggest shoe, the person of Umfa Udo. We don't already get at least two different parts, part one, part two, but talks plenty. Umfa na somebody where we say. We feel get like part one to part hundred, mm-hmm. but gradually, gradually we go to do them like that so that you go to pay everybody. I want to use this opportunity again to talk about few things we would don't we me and found or don't share for part one, part two. For part one, we talk about in growth from Unisem Rovers to Aqua United to Ayimba. Then for part two, we talk about things we happen for Ayimba and things we happen for the Nigerian League in general. Right now, we take them to another level. Another level where we say, I really, I did so, 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 so much they interested in. And that one uh, about um, in growth from Ayimba to abroad, to national team, to everywhere. So the way we are going to take start this one now be say Mfondo you be my guy as a Nigerian league player we don't play pass you know they play again how does it sound how do you feel say finally 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 you sign for United States of America for FC Tulsa after I no, I don't know. Maybe make, make I use the word disappointment or stoppages, stoppages. Where you suppose don't sign for a very long time. Which year you signed for, too, sir? Twenty nineteen. Twenty nineteen. How does it feel? Say finally you signed for two, sir. When I went to America, like I, I felt so happy when I signed. You know that was actually my first um, professional contract abroad. Mm. And um, I was so excited because it was America. It was not like the other African countries that have been having contracts here and there. Uh, it was something unique. It was something fine. Everybody wants to go to America, even if on, on normal terms, not even for football. Mm. But I was glad that I was there because of football. Like the, the joy was overwhelming. My family was happy. My friends were happy. I had this particular friend I had then. She was so happy because she said, this is the moment I've been waiting for. Mm. So like, it was amazing. I felt so happy. So, America was fun. It was great. But you as a person, mm-hmm. okay, you be my guy. More we'll talk, man. I did hear you now. Mm-hmm. Do you think that American League, as at of that period, yeah. was where you should be at as at that as at that time. time? As at of that time? No, I don't think that was where I was supposed to be at that time. I was supposed to be playing in like even if I was in America, I was supposed to be playing like in them. MLS, MLS, okay. no USL, mm-hmm. because USA was like the second division, mm. and MLS was like the first division. So as at that time, maybe that kind of club was supposed to be that time. Mm. I don't suppose they way far than that. But um, like I always tell you before, sometimes we see they plan for life, they within within life they plan for you. Mm. But so in all conditions, you just give God thanks because that time what they for USL, many players never get club. Mm. So you are talking to me. No, I need to listen. So this is it here. This is it. Um, now compare the, your lifestyle in nigeria to lifestyle in america no if you compare like there's no comparison why there's no comparison why? everything is different job like, when you don't say compare your lifestyle for nigeria with your lifestyle for america you job like say the terms say compare nigeria to america how will take start now the same thing with that why i decide to talk this one be say as out of that period america no be big big footballing nation and they talk about the footballing part it was big hmm. it was big in terms of everything hmm. 
from money to facilities mm. to treatment to like everything like no what to say that time self you be like say you compare just say compare Nigeria to America mm. you know if you compare like how you want start from where how Nigeria to be the past America in what in what way mm. is it corruption or waiting mm. nothing it's not about thing we use Nigeria to be head mm. over America how you want to compare no no yeah so um, for him, before you come out for Nigeria it gets within Nigerian league being they do that period that they call them um, MPFL All Stars, Nigerian League All Stars. Yeah, I remember say there was a period where the team, the pick players from Nigeria, they league, go Spain. They go Spain. Okay, you were not part of that league. Okay, that's All Stars, and you did form that period. Yeah, what be your two percent about the selections, the selections of MPFL All Stars? If, let's say you, you define trouble, sha. Yes, that's what we will talk about today. Yes. When you talk, say they do selection. Selection now, people will do the selection. Mm -hmm. Then pick who they like. Then pick who they yes, like. Yes, then pick who they like. Hmm. They don't pick who they do well. In as much as the people they do, some people they do well, but they see people they like. Hmm. Because as in that position that I played, hmm. you get a place where they pick. Even as at that time, some day my team, they will see the sit down for bench for me to play. For you? Yes. Hmm. So why you go pick players where they sit down for bench for me to play? Can you go all stars? You talk about all stars. We're it's talking about the best. Left. Yes, the best of the best. Hmm. And if you talk about Nigerian league, even right now, in the last decade, I'll be all star. What best? Yes. So what do they talk about? So that's what we do. I was never triggered because that time we had a Champions League to go. Mm -hmm. So we go play for, I think that was Egypt. Yeah, uh, uh, Egypt. Uh, uh, uh. Egypt. We go play against um, Zamalek. Yeah. Yes, Zamalek. Yes, yes, so yes. I know yes. they bother. Even if I was not even going to play in Zamalek, like I was not even bothered about the story that was happening. Me, I mean, this kind of person will say, if you choose your team, the way I don't choose my team now, today, um, 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 best 11. Mm. Some people don't go do they go the vest, say they suppose they. Now the same way they choose, I know they, I vest, I suppose they. Now, no matter now who choose the team. Hmm. So they choose who they like. Me, I choose who I like. Hmm. Maybe say I choose the best. Now my own best be that then they choose their own best. So no normal thing. So I don't really worry so about those things. Now, still on this, do you think those people where they do the selections, they have no like you? Then they bias. Minus me alone, maybe only me. Mm. You get some other players they're supposed to pick where they no pick. Mm. It's not about me. Me, I don't even care about those things. Mm. I don't even think about like now you even remind yourself. I don't even think about those things. I don't even reason them. Mm. Because as they move forward, mm. that one now just all start, they go play novelty game. Hmm. So okay, now mm -hmm. I believe say yes, you are a very very exposed player. Apart from say you be footballer, you will graduate as far as I'm concerned. Now, what thing you feel say be the essence of that all stars team where them do where them take travel go Spain that time? What thing be the essence? Well, I just feel see the essence. You get me in essence so like you plenty. The reason why they go that place plenty, mm. probably one for exposure for some players. Mm -hmm. So I think it, one of it was the exposure for some players that have never traveled mm. outside. And it was the game against Atletico. It, I think it was two games, Atletico and Valencia there. Mm -hmm. So that was an opportunity for many players to experience that kind of um, game, mm -hmm. playing against Atletico, playing against um, Valencia. It's something they never dreamt of. Mm not even on nigerian soil mm. so for them to have um, come up with that kind of idea i think it was a good idea to also Make expose sure expose the nigerian players to this kind of um top class football so they are playing against atletico like they see what it feels like what they've been watching on tv actually experiencing it i think it was um, a boost for their career too. how come the nigerian mpfl all-stars team go spain go play two matches then play two matches finish mm -hmm. the old club for spain no c player sign i want the difficult shower hmm. is it that nigerian league no they good enough or they don't even see any no, player I, I think they don't believe in nigerian league not as if they're not good enough they're not because they, they you cannot just play one game and you think um with that one game you can sign a team hmm. football is consistency hmm. you have to be there not only once so mm. it, it, it won't look like a mistake. You have to do it all over and all over again. Mm. So they can see you and say, oh, truly, this is no fluke. Mm. This guy do him. Mm. You do him again. You do him again. No mistake. Mm. So I think that was the reason. Yeah, so on for Udo. Now talk, they bring talk. Mm, so. We don't talk about MPFL or stars. 
this that this now how me share your little percent about the last time when you play on basic goods for nigeria ah on basic goods the play, last time we play on basic goods what team be your the experience? last time i played that was i think it was um two competition in in one mm -hmm. so we played the um, chan qualifiers mm -hmm. we also played waffle cup yeah. chan qualifiers okay was um one in nigeria away game in in togo mm. but the um waffle waffle was in um senegal okay uh what's it the things we happen oh more it is plenty we, we played the first game in for chan we played the first game in togo mm -hmm. we lost um i think we lost them four one okay um, so from there, why not lose for one? We lose for one, eh? we don't play well now. <laughs> in our simple terms, with that, we don't play well. Me personally, I did not play well. That was like, but I did not play well. Like, I was a fluke. Okay, okay. I was a fluke. I think I, I don't know, it was kind of mental. I was losing confidence because that was like we played with more of the under 23 players. Okay. I was losing confidence. I, I, didn't, I was the captain of the team. Okay. I did not have belief. Mm. There were a lot of things. So we lost that game 4 1 and from there we traveled to senegal to play the waffle okay in the waffle i think because of the way i played in the first game in um, the chan game i think i was kind of a fluke so in waffle did i start i think i started no i can't remember but uh, i remember a game that the the coach asked me to start from the bench okay that he wants me to study the game and come in because I was, I was the captain of the team okay. so it was like it, it's not proper for me to just take me out of the game so he was like okay you watch study the game i'm going to introduce you so when you enter you study the game you master the game you know what you're going to do look at the weak side because mm -hmm. i played so i was playing from the wing so it was like look at the weak side you know so when you, when you so enter you can, you can explore so during the game he called me was like where's the weak side i said the left he said okay that means you're seeing what i'm saying i'm going to introduce you i got into the game i was having a very good day when I, I entered uh during the game um it came out bad i missed some good chances i was supposed to score it's football sometimes you miss those chances i wasn't happy about it and i think when i missed those chances it actually made me feel like way down mm. and um during the same game i got a record red card. as a substitute i got a record hmm. so the coaches felt i was the one that made them to lose the game Hmm. Yeah, so they felt bad, they felt furious, and I wouldn't blame them for that because I actually, because of the result of that that tournament, they they had to sack them. Hmm. So they felt that was the reason for them being sacked and all those stuff. But it's in the past anyway. Football happens, and football will still continue with or without all of us. Yeah, so I think I have um, learned one or two things from your last experience with the Chan Eagles. Now going forward you have been invited to the main super eagles camp countless times you are a mm -hmm. super eagles player yeah you get and um, i really want to know i'd like to know your last experience with the super eagles team was against liberia mm, yeah i think it was we went to play a game for a charity game for, for their George president Wade. yeah mm? what was your experience like it was awesome you know um most of the the foreign players when they see the local players like us like they tend to you know look down on us hmm. let me use that word so then they look us like say oh more this one will be this will be this, will be this one will be this one will be this one but they, most of them most of them like even 90 percent of them i don't play super good before them before hmm. they just come hmm. just because they have been consistent you know they, they invite them back to back back to back back to mm -hmm. back so they come fishing and then get them so we because of within nigerian league it's very difficult for you to be in nigerian league and break into the mess by goes hmm. because most of them they don't even call any home base hmm. so for you to be home base where they go at least come go again come go again that means they try so all those kind of things did they make them look down on us and because they will not get money most of the home bases they don't go there uh because see, your salary in a hundred thousand six hundred thousand you go go see person with the end 10 million or 20 million or 30 million you go the bigger money so because of that one they know you won't grief the follow us talk hmm. so they just give us space not be us demo because know me because we are not get that kind of time hmm. so the truth is from your own perspective your own personal perspective right now yeah when you were with the super eagles mm -hmm. i mean the main super eagles which of this super eagles player you feel say be the most welcoming 
jovial, friendly. There are plenty mm. as a den. There are plenty. Call just few names. There are plenty as a den. So much plenty that uh, they, I think the people where they have been they close to mm. then back then they run somewhere. They run somewhere. Yeah, he was welcoming. Then on Nazi, ah, that one of my personal person. Even till today, even till today, mm. we talk, we laugh, we joke. He was welcoming. I mean Musa then too, but I think I think most uh, amongst most this uh, mm-hmm. because I was opportunity to play with him when he, he had his uh, hundred caps mm-hmm. for Nigeria. Then to even till now too, we still talk, we still mm. speak, but I think with it, with everybody around, if all of them I just mentioned, I think I, um, Onazi mm. is, has been one of my favorite. Do you think money, money, is the major reason why MPFL players feel so inferior whenever they are in the national team with the Super Eagles? Yes. I, I think money is a, is a factor. Even when you feel you can play, you, you go to the Super Eagles, you are using a, a, a 20,000 Naira boot and you go see somebody using the original of the original of what you are using. Probably it might be, an, a, a, let's say you are using a Nike brand mm-hmm. and this person is an ambassador to Nike. Nike does not even have, he doesn't even have to buy. Mm. Nike delivers it to his house. Of course you feel inferior. Mm. First of all, they come with their influence Oh, I'm playing for Napoli, I'm playing for Chelsea. You watch Chelsea on the TV, they don't watch you. Hmm. Of course, you be f- you feel inferior. Hmm. The fear will be inside of you. You can play, but with all these things around, you feel inferior. You just feel like you can't do it. So when you were in camp, and the likes of Onazi, Inyama, and Co, they welcomed you, they were very free with you. Did that bring out the best in you? Yeah, the, the welcome was, was nice, but like I, I'd, I'd always tell you, me, I get coconut head. Hmm. I never see anybody. Me, I believe in myself personally. Hmm. I believe as I will play. Hmm. Even in that game, okay, at least I had like three minutes to play. If some players stay in the bench, 90 minutes all through, nothing happens. But at, at least they see give me three minutes, okay, I'm a Musa come out, they can form play. So hmm. it, was, it was enough for me. At least I have one app, like I, I appeared in the game. So hmm. it was enough for me. As a then playing with those, um, we had so many players coming from abroad, and I was one of the few that came from Nigerian league. And I think all the players that came, from, I was the only one that played in that game. Mm. So it was it was a, it was a big deal for me. Yeah. So um, as far as I'm concerned, your limelight in the Nigerian league happened to be between 2014 to 2019. Yeah. Right. There was a period the Nigerian Super Eagles team won the African Nations Cup. Yeah. I think that should be 2014 or 2013. 2013. And that period, the then coach, the coach of the Super Eagles then, Lake Stephen Ketchy, yeah. used to invite Umbis. some home base players, the likes of Azubike Egwekwe, Chikuzie, Abim, Sondemba, Sondemba, yeah. Godfrey, Obabona. Mm-hmm. Why your name no day among those names? That no time, day? no, I, that time I know, I, with, with um, all due respect to everybody, I think that time I know rich. You know rich? No, I know rich. I know rich. Why you think say you know rich? Because in that period, now you be highest goal scorer no, for no, Nigeria. No, no, I think that time I know, I know the, yeah, that was before. Mm. That was before because it was after the the afcon that they took mm. the nigeria one that was when we no i think that afcon was way way before 2020 20, 20, 2013 mm. because it was in 2013 that we went for the first chance first ever chance mm. that was after the afcon mm. so it was because of the afcon that in sunday bar played mm. the way that they had to even invite me to, and that that time was still in aqua united mm. so i just scored that so, um, 15, goals. 15 goals i told you about yeah so that was after then so i think i wasn't up to oh. the mark then yeah oh, okay so in front as long as nigerian league they concerned you as a person what you miss for nigerian league or what you regret see you know do or you know achieve for nigerian league i don't regret anything mm. no no positive regrets if i if i regret anything now i regret see i not travel when i supposed to travel hmm. out of the country so aside that one i don't regret anything uh, i miss 
like like I miss those days back with my colleagues like the the, the, the kind of fun we used to have like mm. the outing we used to have like there was this cohesion there was this friendship mm. that we had you had these cities um abroad mm. abroad everybody just the one on, on their own mm. one person one man riot you go you, you go except say you and other person they very close very very close but you did very rare mm. you just go work you come back you go to your house do your lane everybody just did their day you never know what thing person they do only when i go work now for field now don't yes we have to be friends for field mm. not outside so for nigeria league like i get party back then me and you my roommates mm. and everybody so they go everywhere together yes but you hardly see that kind of thing for, for abroad the sign, everybody the just there on their own so mm. that that's the only path i will miss like i cannot miss anything because everything was just not so nice yeah so in fondo you get one particular topic now mm? yeah a player like ahmed musa mm. senior man governor super eagles captain around last year or last two years would you yes see ahmed musa sign contract with canopilas mm. what do you feel say they behind the scene for that deal well to me i felt um he had a contract coming so he won't just use he had a contract like, coming from what? yes from wherever i think before, when he left he went to um to turkey okay. so i think he had a contract coming mm -hmm. so he just won't use canopy last you know like sort of preparation he won't just a friend hmm. something active he won the match fit. yes he won the match fit and canopy has not been in childhood in boy, boy, boy club hmm. you know back then so he just okay if I mean, Musa come to Nigeria League, he go bring more attention to Nigeria. Instead of making the train from house, mm. he decide to say, make a joint kind of pillars. Mm. So now, what do me? I feel be that because he was not, he was even the one spending his money. Mm. So he no play for money. Mm. He no play for fame. He no play for anything. Now, he didn't even spend money. his own money. Because I know, say, things go go there. They will say, ah, we just come back. Why well, Musa give us 500,000? Mm. He give us 1 million. Mm. So how much Nigeria League they pay? When will they give only one team? 1 million. So they play four games to five games in a month. In the spend one million, five hundred thousand. This one, that one. So let me say, now he's spending money. So I don't think it was about any other thing. It was just about him trying to get fit for his movement because it was after that that league he signed. Hmm. So that means there was something already on ground for him. He was just preparing himself. Do you think that particular made Musa move make Nigeria League more popular, more better? more visible ah nigeria league has always been where it is hmm. to be very frank to be very honest like i'm not um trying to sugarcoat my words the truth has been spoken it's just the way it did hmm. no improvements just there no promotion make, no transfer in just day make we start today like um no day for this kind please we say they go to the junior general league like okay i know when i see that post where they post say or culture talk say instead of making go watch the journey for few you watch, watch people for tv yeah. people they first say hey, why you talk no be say why not not the truth because there's no there's no source hmm. no maggie no salt hmm. they feel just they lost with <laughs> so that the truth be that you better watch EPL on tv than what the journey league life what's there nothing so my guy hmm? On top of this, I made Musa deal to Kano Pillars. Why do you think some other, you get some Nigerian ex internationals, okay, mm, I don't want excellent. to say ex-international, Nigerian internationals, okay, maybe the day abroad they play, maybe one issue can happen for there. Mm -hmm. Why Nigerian players will be senior, senior men, internationals, why didn't they find them hard? Yeah. Eh, to come back to Nigeria League, say, okay, okay, like for instance, yeah. if you check, Brazilian players, if they come in Europe, come play. Anytime we, the team know they bounce, we they bounce, go we Brazil. bounce well for them. Then they go back to Brazilian league. Play. Okay, make Why I tell Nigerian league will not be like make that? Make I tell you. Okay, I, I know be like that. You see our road system. Hmm. If they go make degree, they spend two days. Hmm. So, if you see um, Brazilians, they go Brazil. Go to play for Brazil. Brazil, they pay well. Hmm. They are they pay well. Hmm. And it's highly valued than Nigeria. Hmm. So you come to Nigeria, come to travel for road for two days. They go to Medugri. Play the match, finish, come back the next day. Come reach after two days. Make as they come to Medugri. Like, say, they go you now, you go sleep for Enugu. Hmm. From Enugu, you can't go sleep for, you can't go, come back with you. Then after two days, when I get another match, like, the stress yeah, alone, yeah. the fatigue, you go even give you injury. Hmm. So, Nigerian player would be the reason, say, ah, if I come back, come play for Nigeria, 
the atmosphere is not even conducive Com like compared to what you were having on the other side mm. now it's too long the difference is just too long you can't even cope mm. so that's the reason i think mm -hmm. have you ever had a reason to quit football as that any time yes when no, why many, many times when you know why? when you feel this frustration when you feel this frustration like um you feel you're not being valued you know it's, it's kind of mental mm. not physical there have been a point in in my career i feel i don't even know how to play football because the coaches made me believe i cannot play you know they, there was no psychology to tell you okay no worry you're not doing well now don't worry keep training you know bring back yourself you're gonna play well like there was nothing like that they just felt oh more this guy you know how to play again so those kind of things actually make you feel bad then there was a time somebody say i beg i beg leave her, i beg you don't hold hmm. you don't hold i don't mean go rest hmm. and i started thinking right now okay right now i'm 31 mm -hmm. even this 31 now no football age when i'm my age 31 but i still believe see if i won't cut my age i could be like 26 mm -hmm. which everybody they do but this 31 eh, when i reach 30, 36 after five years i will still be like 28 mm -hmm. Because even as I did 31, like for what they play now, they play, they say, Are you sure you're 31? Because, because you don't even you didn't like well. you they play like 23. See, so even mm. even 18 years old, they don't even move like you. Mm. So you understand? Even psychologically, you they boost your, your morale. So when you go to play where they say, No, leave them, you don't hold. If you're not mentally strong, it will weigh you down. All this kind of stuff. So but for me, my head, I said I get coconut head, my head's strong. I need the care. So, Umfon, at the end of the day, you find yourself for Bangladesh, for Asian continent. Last season, you play 17 matches for Bangladesh. You score 11 goals. Season before last. Okay, season before last. Yes. Okay. Season before last, 17, 17 appearances, 11 goals. Last season, uncle. Last season, twelve appearances. How many eleven goals? goals? Eleven goals. So for us to just talk, say for Bangladesh, you be king for that place. Now, compare the way you take score for Bangladesh, the defenders, the team versus Nigerian League defenders when you take score 23 goals which one you think say they tougher i think bangladesh they tougher bangladesh defenders no Bang the league is, the league is tougher, is tougher. Because, yes because we don't have a lot of quality players compared to nigeria league like now at the this side i need players who will give me supply mm. i hardly get it mm. so i have to hustle on my own to get it in nigeria league at least you have a lot of creative midfielders mm. even a lot of creative defenders that can give a ink swing from behind mm. for you so in, in bangladesh is a little bit tougher because you have to stress yourself mm. you have to work for yourself most times then you get little or no pass sometimes you just get one so i think there is more tougher so it's difficult for you to score more goals there mm. and then the league is few teams mm -hmm. last season was them um, 11 so we played 22 games last season was um season before last was 11. Mm -hmm. okay 12 teams we played 20 something games last season was 11. Mm -hmm. so we played 20 games 10 10. so you see it's more difficult mm -hmm. not like the Nigerian league that was more more, that, more like an, an average league mm, yeah so you true. see it's it's kind of difficult so i did try my best make i just try see make her do something because now what did they buy me for mm, so yeah. i must try to score good because you don't get an excuse those guys need the excuse mm. if you don't do well mm. you don't go so what is the next step for umfan Udo in bangladesh or wherever actually i i feel at home in bangladesh mm. i feel at home like um the same way i felt at home in nigeria mm. i feel at home there i feel settled mm. i feel like i feel like i've understood the league mm. so um I don't know maybe i want to move maybe i, do, I wouldn't move mm. but let's see in few in, in a couple of days mm. i i should know where i'm going to okay so like let's just keep our, our fingers crossed and let's just hope for something new 
as you did like this now talking about you feel at home you feel at home you feel at home if one club for europe call you tomorrow hmm? europe mm -hmm. they call you tomorrow they want you may you come play but but mm -hmm. the money they a little bit lower than waiting you they get for bangladesh right now alpha you say a little bit lower it depends on how lower mm. it is mm. so when you say a little bit lower if if the if the lower they a little bit mm. if you go europe because i'm not from europe saudi arabia will come mm. china will come mm -hmm. but you say it they low compared to what they get for bangladesh i'd rather be there mm. i would just be there i would just chill Hmm. I don't want stress. I know anybody hear me now because at this age in my life, 31, I don't need fame again. Hmm. I need money because I'm already planning for retirement. Mm -hmm. I have a family I'm feeding. I have a lot of people depending on me. I have a lot of things I want to do. Some, so many um, um, businesses I want to do. I need money to execute them. So right now, I'm not going to come to talk, say, uh, uh, make a good roof, make a good level of cement. No. It may be now. So what you're trying to tell me right now is you are playing football for money yes pa passion has driven me this far hmm. passion drove me this far hmm. now passion ain't carry me they drive me like bike mm -hmm. now and, and the passion they drive me they find money mm -hmm. because it's all about money it, it, look at like 99 percent of everybody that was born into this world everybody they find money hmm. ah i don't invest on the he hits mike everybody they find money mm -hmm. you wake up in the morning bus drivers people they go work all the same what they do now money they define so what should they talk about so info if you are in a position mm -hmm. to advise a young mpfl player of today okay now the mpfl player of today gets offer yeah eh? now regular player for nigeria Lego, he can't get offer for like division three okay for a country like spain or division four and you're in the position to advise them how you want to take advice them? well division di division four is not um is not actually um pro pro like professional professional hmm. that that is also like a, a developing stage mm -hmm. so i will advise the player to go there mm -hmm. gain experience mm -hmm. because even at division four you can't get all the money you want okay so i'll just say that's just like a stepping stone mm. go there get the experience mm. learn from the best because i i believe in division four you can learn more mm. than what you learn in nigeria league so i advise the player to go there get the experience learn from advanced coaches mm. develop yourself and get set for the future so are you saying division four in spain is better than nigerian league that's my advice for me <laughs> <laughs> No, come on, the top center, we talk about. I just don't know that. But he, he, at, I believe is 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 more better because even the small money you don't give, you can see past the money you collect from Nigeria League. Mm -hmm. If you convert it, mm -hmm. yeah, exchange rate. Yeah, so, guy, eh, I have had so much fun in all our conversations, all our experiences, everything. But this last part, if I no ask him, mm -hmm. even me, I go vex. Okay. From your stay in Aqua United, Iyimba national teams bangladesh america how have you been able to cope with female fans female fans female fans are female fans now because i i, I got married in in 29 i got married in 2019 mm -hmm. so um female fans started from i think they started from 2014 mm -hmm. to 2018 mm. But even to that 2019 when I got married, I think I I I, I was in a relationship from 2015. Okay. But not too serious. 2016 it became serious. Okay. So I think fans relationship, female in particular, has just been mutual. Mm. Fans are fans. Mm. So you cannot if, if you if you if you uh trying to do anything serious with a fan, that person does is not a fan no more. Mm. It becomes a girlfriend or a quintant or something. Mm. So I was, you don't enter. You don't they enter. So Female fans, I did try to be very careful. Like, I don't want to do all those kind of things again. Mm. I just did. Fan, a fan. Mm. Hey, hi. Picture, picture. Hi, hi. I like your game. Thank you. Now, so. Sure, you know, see, you get some female fans. Apart from them, okay. I like your game. Pictures, pictures. 
there are some that okay i just want to deal with you i don't take the cook not the only fans alone mm. ordinary people won't even know you mm. we just say ah, they won't just chill mm. you don't feel chill everybody and you know say when woman doesn't want chill with you most times mm. like 70 percent of the cases and they be only chilling mm. so you could try to avoid them and somewhere like me that like, was in a relationship I think my girlfriend wouldn't have appreciated that as at that time. Mm. Not to talk of now that I'm married. Mm. So, now they say, as you may say, you know they use your brain now. You want me to use me like Greenwood? Have <laughs> uh, you use me like how they call that one, Mendy? Uh, no worry. No, 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 no talk about Antonio. No worry. We will we'll, we'll go come to that level. My viewers, my listeners, um, now that the gin jammy, now that they motivate me and. Um, this particular episode don't bring um, lots of joy to me and uh, this one will continue to motivate me to bring in more internationals, more legends, as long as Nigerian football they concerned. I do extremely happy to say I bring in one of the biggest products out of Nigerian League come my podcast. I did very, very grateful in Fawudo and um, we don't come to the end of this particular episode but... I want to make you use your hand now, sign out, tell people how you see the podcast and um, make them try, make them go subscribe to the YouTube channel, make them continue to the follow us, make them continue to the share. Okay, this okay, 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 okay. Um, this podcast, now podcast, why don't they anticipate for a very long time, even mm. before this podcast started like i've been on the talk say this podcast i must day here hmm. so for the first idea yes even that to me na blessing na privilege too the way it also that privilege for you to talk to me or be play for the same thing me now you the one yourself but me genuinely and truly this podcast has been something i've been anticipating for a very long time and i do very happy see around the year today against all odds so i did very happy i beg make una follow the above as a podcast for instagram for twitter for tiktok YouTube subscribe please. I beg. Muna help us. Hmm. Eh? Muna Muna subscribe. Biko. Who they beg? Legend. Thank don't you. talk. Oh. Thank you guys. And um I continue to I will continue to give on all the best. Peace out, man.